Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and this is going to be your Halloween reading. Kind of like what to expect this weekend. It's kind of like a Halloween edition but also um, kind of like what is your forecast for next week. Um, you could say that this is like a horoscope reading but um, it, it really isn't. It's just more of guidance of what to expect uh, as we get into the month of November because again we are just a few days away from the month of October 2020 ending. So this is kind of like what is left to expect. So I'm just letting this burn a little bit. I'm going to sage my, um, or use Palo Santo rather, on my cards. For those of you out there that are viewing it. <laughs> kind of just also do myself here. All right, so I'm going to be using the Halloween Oracle to get started, and then I'm going to be using the Everyday Witch Tarot, okay? And that's going to kind of help us to better understand. Let me just move this camera a little bit back because I don't like the way that it's positioned. Okay. All right, so we have a lot of that smoke still coming out. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me tilt this up just a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, these are the Halloween um, oracles are by Stacy DeMarco. I just love her cards and her designs. So we're going to just see what general messages we have for everybody. Um, this won't be like a super long reading, but more so just something for you guys as we go into Halloween. I'm very, very excited. As I have stated before, I have an event in San Antonio, Texas. Um, it's my very first event, and this is supposed to have been in May of 2020, but due to COVID, um, it got pushed back to October 31st, Halloween. So um, here we are. I'm going to be um, hosting that, and I have my um, friends. The um, they're a paranormal group called The New Reality coming all the way from California. Um, they're up and coming, and... Um, it, their names are Sh uh, Sean and Cody, so if you haven't checked them out, be sure to check them out. And um, so we'll have them. And then um, I think their videographer, um, but his name is Tristan. Um, so we, I'm really, really excited about this. So let's get into it here. Uh, let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys. So I'm just pulling randomly where I feel drawn energetically. And then we'll see. All right, so the first card we have here is joy, rejoicing in the present. So, you know, I think we've been through enough suffering as it is in 2019, I'm sorry, 2020, where this year has been like so full of, you know, a lot of people think darkness in many ways, and it has because of the themes, the things that we've been facing, the restrictions, you know, just everything. It's become, it's become overwhelming. Um, the people, you know, the pettiness, the, um, the fights, it's all just been too much. And so now we're entering into an area where light is being born, even though you would think fall kind of is like darkness, because again, we are saying goodbye to daylight saving time and whatnot. Um, I kind of feel like um, even though all of this is a promise that things will get better in our United States, right, in our country, in our in the world, period, um, it's going to get better. And I've, this is something that I've said before. Um, then we have here, mummy, change. So a lot of you are going through some changes. Some of you are not going to celebrate Halloween. Some of you are. Some of you may even, um, that you know, you, you may say, I don't have any spiritual abilities. I really don't connect or get open to spirit. You may start, you know, realizing through... Uh, October 31st, the power of Halloween, um, that, you know, there is some message for you or something that you're communicating, but you're going through some change. And this may not be for everybody out there that's tuning into this video, but for the majority of you tuning in, I do feel like essentially that there is some kind of change that's coming for you guys. Um, it could be like a transformational change, your thoughts, um, what you want to achieve over the next couple of weeks, um, leading into 2021. Um, the witch, the early weaver of the worlds, the earthly weaver of the worlds. Look at that. 
so powerful. So many of you that are very witchy or are natural born witches and don't even know it uh, are alchemists, right? We, we, you know, we can use the term interchangeably, but the, the fact of the matter is I feel like, again, there is a Mecca of power culminating since this is a blue moon on October 31st. It is another full moon. It is a second full moon. It's a rare event. Um, it is happening on October 31st. It's a very, very powerful time. It's a powerful time. And I say that because um, the full moon, this full moon um, can cause many things. It can cause you to like find new love. It can open up doors for you emotionally. Uh, it can bring in, usher in good uh, luck for your business or if you have a business or even business opportunities and then it could do the opposite it just depends on where you are vibrational um vibration vibrationally speaking and also how you feel um about you know where you're at right now in your life and in the world and the people around you so again this full moon i want to be very clear it has a big potential here to uh, be life-changing for you uh but it all is going to depend on you okay um werewolf exploring wilderness like i said a lot of you are going to be exploring your inner beast in so many ways it's like you've been afraid or holding on to fear holding on to fear of expressing yourself your feelings for someone or just feeling, you know, um, kind of restricted because of COVID and everything. And this is kind of your time to like really start getting in the holiday spirit. So while a lot of people don't celebrate Halloween, you know, or it's not observed, um, I feel like a lot of people will be looking to going out uh, and not being held back by the fear of, you know, propaganda, the media, fake numbers and, and whatnot. You know, it's like a lot of people are going to kind of be more in this kind of transformation because remember the werewolf is kind of like symbolic of someone that is human but goes through this duality kind of like the darkness of the soul in so many ways they transform into an animal but it's not saying that you're going to literally transform into that but it's kind of like getting in touch with your wild side um so anything like i said anything can happen you could feel the intensity of october 31st not everybody on october 31st is going to feel good um and not everybody is going to feel bad like there's going to be people that feel amazing and are vibrating very highly and then there's people that may um kind of you know turn into the worst versions of themselves on that day it's going to be a day where a lot of things are revealed and made clear for a lot of people um, and then we have ghost regret, right? So a lot of people are still um, living with regret as we go into November. Because remember, this is like a Halloween reading, but also into the month of November. Um, and so I feel like a lot of people are still like going through this um, this grieving process um, or they're not going to be happy um, after this election is, is over for whatever reason. But um, here we have Night Song, Hidden talent so again a lot of potential um a lot of potential a lot of symbolism with is it the red carnal or is that the red robin i don't know but um with whoever whatever it is it's a beautiful bird and um i think that's a robin but i'm not sure but anyways um yeah i feel like um they're definitely or it could be a cardinal i'm not sure i can't remember but anyways i feel like again there's going to be a lot of things that come to the surface um like I said, a lot of hidden talents, things that maybe you had not thought that you could do before that you're now going to be tapping into, um, whether it's cooking, you know, or doing something crafty. And then look, death, the eternal cycle begins here. So symbolic, again, transformation. Look at this. I love this card. I love the, what is that? A bee? I love the bee. Or is that a moth? I think that's a moth. Yeah, it's a moth, but I love it. It's symbolic. It's symbolic of transformation, right? Of death. Death is not like literal death. Um, it is basically like a part of our soul that dies or our ways of thinking, old patterns that kind of are dying away and being reborn um, again in a new way for us to elevate our consciousness and see things from a different perspective. Um, let me pull a couple more of these Oracle cards. And then we have here Skull of Darkness. Um, blind spots. So a lot of people are still going into Halloween um, and the the new month of November 2020 kind of feeling like, you know, they're, they're not sure what is coming. It's like 
feeling kind of blinded or blindsided by what happens, whatever happens, you know, whatever um, is going to happen in the world, which I've spoken about that. If you're not um, subscribed to my Patreon, I just want to take the opportunity in this video to tell you to go to www.patreon.com forward slash psychic medium rate and go and follow me because I do share a lot of insights um, about the election, about um, what I see regarding the current, you know, riots and things like that that are going on in the world. Um, zombie control. So again, a lot of people are going to be resisting. Um, and I feel like, again, they are going to be wanting some kind of control. See how that the zombie is coming like out of the ground. So to me, that's very symbolic of the energy that we have right now um, going on in the world. So now let me just go ahead and pull some cards here from the Everyday Witch um, Tarot deck and see what messages come through for you guys. So let's do that. All right. So we have here the justice card. So again, I feel like in many ways that there is some kind of divine justice. A lot of you could be feeling kind of like you're in a point in your life where you're seeking justice or someone is held accountable. It's almost like karmic in many ways, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Then we have the seven of swords. A lot of you may be feeling kind of defensive. Um, a lot of eyes and ears are on you. A lot of people see you kind of like a leader, but you're very um, like you have your guard up in so many ways not necessarily a bad thing but then we have here the ten of swords so there is this element of kind of like mentally or emotionally um you are going through so many thoughts it feels like oppressive you could feel people are attacking you in some kind of way but it, i feel like this card is saying it's more of the illusions that surround you the feelings and the thoughts are not necessarily energy that is yours but more so um, if you are an empath, again, with the intensity of the energy and the cosmos and everything that's in retrograde right now, we're feeling these effects very, very deeply. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of you have your money on your, um, a lot of your, your um, mind on your money, money on my mind, right? But um, yeah, you have that going on. I feel like a lot of you are focused on your finances. Um, and I feel like this is a promise that things are going to get better financially for everybody. Another thing, somebody asked me about the stimulus package, if we're going to be getting a second stimulus check. And I address this again on my Patreon. I will not discuss it here because I don't want to turn it political. But again, um, if you want that, you can check it out. Five of Wands. So it's interesting. It feels like kind of, again, like you're being attacked or you need to be careful with someone in your circle, um, someone that you know, someone that you already know. I feel like a lot of you could be going through someone that is maybe envious or jealous or, um, you know, it could even be a family member that is just kind of oppressive. Nothing that you do is ever enough. Nothing that you do is good. Somebody that is using you in so many ways. And then we have here the Knight of Wands. So with the Knight of Wands, I feel like it's like looking at the possibilities and then moving towards your goals. Swift movement, kind of like the witch is on the broom, but they see this dragon afar, right? They see it. And, and dragon energy is not necessarily a bad thing. But again, um, just being very cautious and keeping your distance, hermit. So a lot of people through the month of uh, November are feeling kind of like, what can we do? You know, there's so many restrictions. I know like in Cali, um, which is something, again, it's on my Patreon. I, I discuss all this that you guys are wanting to know. I can't do it here on my YouTube channel because of censorship. But like Cali, you know, there's so many, I, I just, I have so many friends. Like, I feel like I live in Cali already um, because I have so many friends that um, are from over there and family that um, they've, you know, shared over the last couple of days, Neeson's ridiculous policies for Thanksgiving and whatnot. So I'm just like, girl, that is insane. Like, that's why a lot of people are feeling this way because, you, you know, you're being told what you can and cannot do for Thanksgiving. And the list was just asinine when I looked at it. I was like, this is ridiculous. And then we have here Two of Swords. So Two of Swords, again, a lot of decision making um, that you're having to do. But you will get to that point. You will hit that target. You um, may not be able to see it, but you're on the right path. Okay. 
So overall, like this is the energy that I feel like we were going to be experiencing through the remainder of the last few days of October going into the month of November. But these are the messages mainly for like this weekend, again, into the first week of November. So um, if I, you know, like I said, I won't be doing any more weekly horoscopes on um, YouTube. It will be for my Patreon content, but you can consider this kind of like a reading of what's ahead for you through the, um, the month. So, all right. So many blessings and love and light. Take care.